The county is number one goal is to stay financially sound. We have to ensure that our, our books and our numbers um, keep us, in essence, in a good position. We went to the drawing board in each department and we figured out what are the services they provide. So now we have pretty much a Bible uh, for each department, each division, and we're able to identify every single service that each department, each divi division provides. You work with departments to develop strategic business plans and focus on what results that department wants to achieve and then also the programs within that department. They focus on delivering key results and that becomes their priority for the year. And it gives us, from a management perspective, the ability to weigh in and see how those services are being performed or whether or not the value of those services makes sense to a taxpayer. As we looked at this current building that we're in, uh, which is a lease, and we explored other options such as purchasing the Guardian building, it was determined through a lot of analysis, a couple of years of analysis, that not only would it be more efficient for us to purchase a building outright, such as the Guardian building, but also it would be more cost efficient for us in terms of workspace. It truly was a buyer's market. So we ended up purchasing the Guardian Building for about $14 million. Because the Guardian Building is 50% occupied now, and the garage is pretty much 90% occupied, there is a net profit to taxpayers of approximately a couple million dollars a year. It's very strong for us because the bond rating agencies, again, again indicated to us that when they look at our books, they like to see assets versus liabilities. Our chief development officer, has taken wonderful initiatives to create Turbo, where we actually bring in land into the Turbo program, and then uh, where we were getting no property taxes at all, we create incentives for folks to do some development on this land and bring in revenues. In order to encourage you to invest in Wayne County, we would actually help you get a rebate back. Technically, your taxes go up 5,000 a year. We can make an arrangement where you get back pretty much almost all that money, or at the very least $2,500 of those funds for the next five years. Again, we feel as our role in government, we should be encouraging you to make those kinds of investments in our county. Another thing that has been great is our wonderful, talented workforce who understand the plight that we're up against and have not given it too much of a thought to go ahead and help us to reduce the inefficiencies that we have across the county. And we believe, again, that there are so many solutions to some of our problems, and we feel that with our existing resources, uh, we can work smarter.